Hey, when you're done with the laptop, can I use it? You know mom said you can't use a laptop because of your history test. Oh, come on. You, I won't tell if you won't. Forget it. I'm on my laptop. But I'm bored. Not my problem. You're lucky mom didn't take away your phone. Go call a friend or something. Just leave me alone. Or go play with your doll or something. Play with your teddy bear and your dolls. You know, you don't have to treat me like I'm five. I'm ten years old. Yeah, well, you're acting like a five-year-old. Just because I want to use the laptop? You're not allowed. Case closed. <clears throat> Come on in. Hi. Oh, hi Cheyenne. How are you? I'm fine. How are you, Kirsten? Oh, I'm just fine. Thank you. Um, is Naomi? Yes, she and her sister Kit are in, are in their bedroom. Great. I'm not really interested in seeing Kit, but I do want to see Naomi. Um, well, Naomi and Kit are both in their room. Be nice to her. Be nice to Naomi's younger sister. I'm nice to everybody. Well, that's a good thing. All right, off you go. I'll, I'll make the three of you a snack of homemade brownies. Thanks, my favorite. I know. Naomi told me it was your favorite. <laughs> okay, go on. Me and my teddy getting all ready, getting all ready for play. Will you stop singing that stupid song? It's so annoying. Well, what else can I do? You won't let me use a laptop. Well, too bad. And it's not my rule, it's mom's rule. If you want to complain about the rule, then you talk to mom. Come in. Hey. Hey, Cheyenne. Hi. What are you doing? Well, I was watching videos on YouTube, but then my annoying little sister, Kit, had to interrupt me. <sighs> little sisters are a waste of space. Tell me about it. I'm lucky I have a big sister, but she could be just as annoying as a little sister. She's always telling me what to do and treating me like I'm some little kid, which I'm not... I know that, we're 13. Try telling my 17 year old sister that. I know it's hard, but. Can I use the computer now? No! Oh my gosh. Okay, so. So, did you see that new algebra teacher? You mean the one covering for Mrs. Phillips? Yeah, Mr. Mr. Henshaw, yeah. Yes, I did. It's the first time I ever stayed awake during algebra. Me too. <laughs> this is ridiculous. What's her problem? Oh, please. She just wants attention. So, back to what we were actually talking about. Mr. Henshaw. Yeah, he is so cute. I know. Mom? What is it, honey? Can we talk? Sure, have a seat. So what's on your mind? It's just that when Naomi has a friend over, she's oh, they're always talking gossip, like about boys and everything. Well, honey, they're teenagers. You can't expect them to talk about their childhood or anything. Yeah, I know. But it's what Naomi said about me that hurts. What did Naomi say about you? She says that I'm annoying and everything. It's, I don't try to be annoying. I'm just being me. And it's like, it's like Naomi doesn't like me for who I am. And she's trying to get Cheyenne against me. Honey, I think you're overreacting. See? Nobody understands how I feel. Nobody. Now, Kit, you know that's not true. Yes, it is. Forget it. I thought I could count on you to make me feel better, but you're just as bad as everyone else. Kit. Kit Marie, you get back here. <sighs> I know. <laughs> What's wrong with your sister? 
Oh, forget her. She just wants attention. So as we, so what we were actually talking about. It, <laughs> come on, let's go in the living room and talk. I'm gonna ask mom if she could at least send kids to a friend's house so she doesn't bother us. Go ahead. <laughs> Kit? <laughs> Leave me alone. Kit, can you talk to me? <laughs> Why, you wanna say, say more about how you're lucky you have a big sister or not a little sister? Judging I'm think by what you see me and Naomi are arguing about. You know, Kit, you're lucky to have a big sister. I know, so are you. You're lucky you have a big sister, but you don't have a little sister pestering you. You, you know, you're lucky to be the littlest sister. No, I'm not, because I have a big sister who hates me. Come on, do you really think that Naomi hates you? Well, it seems that way. I mean, she's constantly saying what a pain in the neck I am. And it hurts so much because I don't try to be. I just want to be like her and I want to grow up, but you won't even give me a chance to do that. Maybe she talked to Kit about it. I don't know. I really don't. Cheyenne! I'm still in your room. Cheyenne, what are you doing talking to my sister? Um, she was upset. Well, too bad. You're my friend. Of course I'm your friend. But why can't I be friends with your sister, too? Because I don't even like her. So if you're going to be my friend, then you have to stop hanging out with her. Why can't I talk to your sister? I just told you why. She's a pain in the neck. I don't want you to become her. I'm not becoming her or trying to be like her, but you got to be nicer to your sister. She is upset. Look at her. She's crying. Who cares? She'll get over it. You know what? You may be a good friend, but you're not a good sister to your sister. Sisters are supposed to look out for each other. What about you? You complain about your sister. I never once complained about having a big sister. I love my sister and, and she loves me. Well, then maybe you and I could switch houses. I'm serious. I can't listen to this anymore. Listen to what? This. Call me when you stop being such a jerk to your sister. Oh, come on, Cheyenne. You don't mean that. Cheyenne, get back. Shut. This is all your fault. How was it my fault? She came to me. Because you have to cry in front of her. That's why she came to you. She doesn't really care about you. She's just doing it to tick me off. No, she's not. Can't you accept the fact that some of your friends actually like me? Just leave me alone. Thanks to you, Cheyenne left. It's your fault. Well, it's your fault. Because you said something that hurt me. I don't care. Just leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you. Fine. Whatever. I'll go sit with mom. Oh, are you gonna go crying to mommy now? <sighs> Whatever. <sighs> mm. Must have fallen asleep. You know, I feel so bad about what I said to Cheyenne and Kit. Maybe I should go apologize. <sighs> Wow, Kit, you were right. This little kid show is awesome. I love the old As, As Told by Ginger shows. I know, isn't it great? I, wait, I can't wait till I'm a teenager. Yeah. Kit, Ma Cheyenne, you're still here? Yeah, I'm with Kit. Well, obviously, what are you doing hanging with Kit? I thought you and I were friends. Kit's a better friend than you are. What? Yeah, and I wish Cheyenne was my sister instead of you. What? I'm going to tell Mom what you said. Go ahead, she'll, she'll agree with us. Look, I just came in to apologize to you guys. Well, apology not accepted, okay? You really hurt both of us. Yeah, we don't need you around either. What are you guys saying? Um, I think we made it pretty clear that we never want to talk to you again. 
you, you can't be serious. We are serious. Does it look like we're laughing? Just go in your room and go play with your dolls. You know I don't play with dolls. I go on the computer. I go on the computer and go on the Barbie website or something. But guys, leave us alone. We're, too, we're busy watching TV. Cheyenne, you don't like us told by Ginger. That's not a good show. You always hated it. Well, I like it now. Kit got me into it. What else did Kit get you into? Hannah Montana, Hannah Montana Forever, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, Sweet Life on Death, Jesse, Bunk. Okay, you could have just easily said Disney Channel shows. Now, come on, what about watching American Idol or America's Got Talent or Big Brother? What about those shows? Those shows are for adults. We're still kids. Let me be a kid for once. I can't believe this is happening. I'm going to go talk to mom. Go ahead, go cry to your mom like a baby. Yeah, she is a baby. Mom? What is it, Naomi? Can we talk? Sure, have a seat. Thank you. Here, I made you a strawberry banana smoothie. I know it's your favorite. I'm not really in the mood for a smoothie, Mom. Okay, well, what can I do for you? Don't you realize what's happening? What are you talking about? That... Cheyenne doesn't want to be my friend anymore, and her and Kit are ganging up on me. Don't you know this? Of course I know this. Well, aren't you going to stop them? Honey, Kit and Naomi are entitled to choose who their friends are. But Cheyenne and I are friends. Why does Cheyenne suddenly want to be Kit's friend? Maybe because you were mean to them. I wasn't mean to Cheyenne or Kit. Yes, you were. They told me what happened. What did they tell you? They, well, Cheyenne told me, and Kit, they both told me about how annoying you thought Kit was. Just because she's grounded from the laptop doesn't mean you could rub it in her face. I wasn't rubbing anything in her face. It's just that me and Cheyenne wanted privacy. You always want privacy when you have a friend over. But you never let your sister in on your friendships. Well, that's because she's too young. She's 10. She should be playing with the dolls and leaving us alone. Kit loves you. Well, if she loves me, why is she stealing Cheyenne from me? Oh, so now Cheyenne's an object? No, that's not what I meant. I just meant... Cheyenne? Cheyenne? You ready to be friends with me again? No, I will never be ready to be friends with you after the way you cheated your sister and the way you cheated me. And now you're blabbing mine and Kit's friendship to your mom and complaining. You know what? We're done. We're done being friends. And I'm done being your sister. But I didn't even do anything. Yes, you did. You think we're annoying. You think that I can't be friends with both of you. It has to be one or the other. Well, I choose Kit. Because at least she doesn't boss me around. She's younger than you. So what? She's a better friend than you'll ever be. I'm going to go... I'm gonna go hang out with Kit. I don't want to waste my time, waste my time talking to you. Cheyenne, Mom, aren't you gonna say something? Cheyenne and Kit are better best friends than you and Cheyenne were, and I support them 100%. But Mom, now I have no friends. I don't even have a little sister who wants to hang with me. Well, you should have thought of that before you treated both of them with disrespect. I should have, but how can I change it? You can't. And even if you could, they won't forgive you. They told me that. Do you want to hang out with me, Mom? Forget it. I don't want to hang out with somebody who only cares about herself. I'm going to go spend some time with the girls. But, Mom! Mom! Oh, my God. Now I'm all alone. Please. I, I feel so alone. Please let everything back the way it was. I didn't mean to be selfish. Huh? Naomi? <laughs> Please, sorry. Naomi. 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 <gasps> Ouch. What do you made me do? <sighs> I'm sorry. For what? Throwing me against the wall? Well, that, and I'm sorry about how I treated you. 
you know, earlier with you and China. I thought her name was Cheyenne. It is Cheyenne. See, you and Cheyenne are such good friends now that I'm even forgetting her last name. That's her first name. What's wrong with you? You're not even talking clearly. I'm just really sorry about how I've been treating you. You're right, I do leave you out when I have my friends over and I treat you like you don't exist and I'm really sorry about that. Do you have any idea how much it hurts me when you leave me out? I can only imagine. Well, imagine feeling your, feeling like your heart is being ripped out of your chest and putting it in a blender. Okay, you don't have to get so graphic with me. I'm sorry, but that's how I really feel. I mean, and you saying that I was jealous, that was way out of line. That really hurt because Cheyenne's a great person and I'm happy that you guys are friends. I just feel left out sometimes and maybe that is a form of jealousy, but it's not a bad jealousy. You're my big sister and I want to hang out with you because you're cool. You think I'm cool? Yeah. You fascinate me. I fascinate you? Yeah, I mean, you have seven different teachers in one day. You're beautiful and have a lot of friends. And you carry your purse. You're the woman of the world. I am good, aren't I? You're great, and I want to be part of your life. Not just as your sister, but as your friend, too. I know it's asking a lot. It's not asking a lot. Maybe a while back I thought that was asking for a lot, but it's not. I really am sorry for the way I've been treating you. Ever since I started high school, I've been ignoring you. But you know what? What? That's going to change. What do you mean? We're going to spend more time together. I think we need it. Well, I don't know what you were dreaming about before, but whatever it was, sounds like I had a successful nap. Well, the nap taught me something, I'll tell you that much. Why don't you sit on your bed and let me call Cheyenne and tell her that you and I made up. I'm going to apologize to Cheyenne, but let her know that you and I are going to hang out. You really mean it? I really mean it. Thanks. See, that's all I wanted. I know. <laughs> all right, let me grab my phone. Boop, 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 boop. Mm. 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 Hello? Hey, Cheyenne, it's Naomi. Hi. Look, I called to apologize for the way I acted between you and Kit. I really am. I was being really selfish and I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. I can understand how annoying your sister is. But she's not annoying. Well, you said she was. I know what I said. But she just wants to hang out with me. She thinks I'm cool. Can I hang out with you guys? You know, I think I just need to spend some private time with my sister. Good, I was hoping you'd say that. Why? You don't want to come over? No. I was hoping you'd come to your senses and and defend your sister like that. Well, um... We'll, um... hang out tomorrow, okay? Okay. But can Kit join us? I'd love that. Great. Look, I gotta go. Me and Kit are gonna go in the living room and watch Netflix. Okay. Alright, bye. Bye. You gave up hanging out with China for me? Her name's Cheyenne, and yes, I gave up hanging with Cheyenne for you. I meant what I said. I want us to spend more time together. Thanks. Come on, let's go in the living room. Okay, I'll be there in a minute. Okay, little sister, what would you like to watch? You letting me pick? Yeah, I'll watch anything with you. Wow, that dream really whipped you into shape. Just pick what we're going to watch before I realize what I'm doing. <laughs> Can we watch Rugrats? The older version, not the new version with Kimmy in it. That, they ruined it when they put her in. <laughs> sure. I, I used to love watching Rugrats, too, when I was younger. Yeah. Okay, let me look for it. See what episode's on. Oh, in 
and the dream time is on. I love that one. Well then, let's watch it. Great. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love this. Look at all those pots flowing. I know. Dreams could be crazy. Yeah, they can be. Yeah, I know they're crazy. Gosh, I can't believe how funny I used to think these episodes were. It feels good watching them again. It takes me back to my childhood. It's making me live my childhood. <laughs> Girls, hey mom, hey mom. Well, I'm glad to see you two are getting along. Um, I just wanted to let you know that I'm not really in the mood to cook tonight. So I figured we'd do takeout. What would you like? Ask Kit what she wants. Doesn't matter to me. Can we have fish and chips? Yeah, we'll have fish and chips. Okay, fish and chips it is. I better go find the number and um, and call. And I'm, I'm really glad to see you two getting along. Yeah, we decided to call it. Did you make things um, better with you and Cheyenne, Naomi? Yeah, I did. That's great. I told her that me and Kit were gonna hang out tomorrow and spend the day together. Well, that's nice of you, but you can invite Cheyenne if you want. Yeah, you can invite her if you want. Are you sure, Kit? I'm positive. It'll be cool. I'll be hanging out with two teenagers tomorrow. All right, I'll give her a call tonight. That's very big of you, Kit, and it's very big of you. Thanks, Mom. Friends come and go, but me and Kit will be sisters forever, whether we like it or not, so I might as well make the best of it. I know that comes from your heart, Naomi. Believe me, it does. <laughs> I'm going to go order dinner. Proud of both of you. <laughs> oh my gosh, everything touches her. I know. But that, but that doesn't mean she's a bad mom. I never said it did. I know, I'm just busting on you. <laughs> Kit, if you want to use the laptop, you can. But I'm not allowed. I just talked to mom. You are allowed. She thinks you've been punished enough, and she's proud of you for letting me be friends with Cheyenne without feeling guilty about it. Oh, okay. Besides, I gotta call Cheyenne and tell her she can come over. Okay, thanks. No problem. Boop, 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 boop. Mm. 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 Hello? Hey, Cheyenne. Oh, hey, Naomi. What's up? I was wondering if you still wanna come over tomorrow. But I thought you said you wanted to spend time with your sister. The three of us are going to spend time together. You don't mind, do you? No, I like your sister, and I like you. I like you, too. And my sister likes you, too. But you don't mind if my sister tags along? No. I love your sister. She's so cute. <laughs> she is cute. But whatever. Maybe we can go to the mall, the three of us. Even if we have to stop at a doll store. You don't have to stop at a doll store. I'll go clothes shopping with you. Maybe you get some CDs and stuff. Was that your sister? Yeah. Thanks, Kit. I really wasn't looking forward to going to the toy store anyway. But don't tell Kit I said that. Too late. I heard you. Sorry, Kit. It's okay. At least you're honest. <laughs> so how about it? I can ask Mom if we can go to the mall. Either tonight before we go to bed or... Girls, or now, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Bye. Come in, Mom. I'm glad to see you two are getting along, but it's getting late and it's time to go to sleep. Okay, but Mom, yes? Can you take me, Kit, and Cheyenne to the mall tomorrow? Cheyenne, you mean? Yeah, me, Kit, and Cheyenne, please? Sure, I'd love to. I was going to pick up some things from the mall anyway, so I'd be more than happy to take you. I'll even treat you guys to lunch. Okay, I'm not going to argue with that. <laughs> but you guys get ready for bed now, okay? Okay, good night, Mom. Good night. Good night, Mom. Good night. Love you, girls. Love you, too. All right, get in the shower and get in your pajamas and get to sleep, okay? We will. Okay, good night. Good night, Mom. <sighs> wow, this has been an interesting day. Sure has. So we better get ready for bed. And since I'm the youngest, I'll take the shower first. Oh, okay, Kit. <laughs>